Good morning, YouTube. Finally get to work on the snowcat again. It's probably been three or four weeks, uh, basically since the last video came out. I haven't touched it. Um, got the uh, shop cleaned up a bit, some of the stuff out of there. The uh, Jetta was sitting right here for a while. We got that in the shop the first thing this morning, warming up a little bit, and we're pulling the motor today. It, uh, it should be fun. I'm gonna try and video what I can of it as best as I can. And uh, yeah, enjoy. This is the donor. I quickly uh, used the crane, got the, the hood off, but. Hey Carter B, what do we do when we scrap a car, take the engine out? What do we do for fun? Slide on it. Slide on it. No, what do we gotta do? We gotta hook that up to there. To yeah, car hoods have nice hook points. So we're gonna get this down to the lake and go across the lake on it? Yeah. Perfect. Have some fun. Okay. <laughs> How's it going, Carter? Yeah. What are we on? Pizza Club! <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's so smooth out here. But this is what we're planning on doing today. We are gonna get that motor out onto that engine stand. That's the goal. I think it'll be pretty fun. I haven't taken one of these apart before, but uh, I don't really care about the car at all. It's going for scrap afterwards. So if I have to be a little rough and uh, cut some things out of the way, I'm gonna do it. The, probably the easiest way if I had a hoist would be to undo the subframe underneath, drop the whole front uh, engine transmission wheel assembly down underneath the car and then uh, separate it from the transmission there but don't have a hoist only a crane so i'm pretty sure we can get this motor out from the top um, we might have to jack the car up a little bit get some work and clearance underneath of it but should be good I'm just trying to take my uh, time at this point and uh, you know label all the connectors off of the parts of the engine I take it off of. Um, I figured it'll uh, save me a lot of time later on and then I'm just kind of ripping out everything that I know I don't need. So tear the whole front end apart here.
All right, a uh, little audio update here, more than just the GoPro. Um, pretty much tore the front end of this thing apart, undid some of the AC lines, there's still a little fluid in there. Um, and I'm just trying to take the wiring out in one piece if I can. So parts of this harness that are obvious to where they go, AC compressor, alternator, things like that. I'm just uh, labeling all the connectors taking apart what I can, and I'm gonna try pulling the harness in mostly a uh, complete state without cutting much. And then I'll probably just strip down the front end of the motor here, take some of the accessories off, get the power steering fluid off, and uh, slowly getting down to the transmission and starter area. And uh, yeah, there's a decent amount of oil in the intake system here, um, which I believe indicates that the turbo's seals are gone so i'll probably re be rebuilding a turbo but uh, that's fine i more or less was just trying to buy this to have a good starting point i knew that you know picking up a used motor um it's gonna have some issues so we'll we'll just address them it's not a big deal um i may even be buying a second jetta at auction here if it goes for the right price um have more parts or for mini snowcat 2. Hmm. that sounds like a good idea so in the afternoon here i uh wasn't by myself anymore dano from work uh wandered over for a beer and uh helped pull a motor said he hadn't done before figured hey why not come over and uh you know, maybe learn something from me. Doubtful, but uh, we had a good time. I enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully he'll be over again. At this point, we were just trying to figure out all the wiggling and jiggling that needed to happen. And it turns out cutting the passenger's drive axle was the quickest way to solve this problem. Gave that transmission uh, the angle it needed to twist and come out and uh, work perfectly. So we got the motor pulled and uh, Dan said he needed a break. So we went for a smoke and started. Well, there's no bucket on it. Uh, right hand inwards, outwards. Yeah, he said he was bored and he wanted to go drive an excavator. So he did it. Oh, beautiful day. Dan's having fun. There's the few. All right, Cole, what'd we get done today? Well, we got the motor out of the Jetta, like I was hoping we would, and onto the engine stand. A little bit of uh, dicking around there, eh? Didn't quite fit, small motor for a big stand, but we got it. We can apparently roll it around now, we'll see. But it's in there. 
Looks good. Hey there. So, got all cleaned up. Um, but we sure had a good day. We, uh, oh, we're leaking some fluid, but we got the motor out. There's nothing there. It's over here. So that is a uh, 2003 1.9 liter turbo diesel ALH, 90 horsepower. We're gonna be uh, putting it in in the snowcat. It's gonna be fun.